Hey, hey, y'all. So really quickly, I wanted to come in here and discuss the Bravo after show for Potomac. So earlier today, I was listening to it and there was a segment where they asked Candace about why she verbally assailed <laughs> Ashley the way she did at Robin's dinner. And she was saying that she was astounded how Ashley is sitting there pretending like, you know, she was innocent, that she didn't do anything. Like she doesn't know why Wendy reacted that way. When they were in Williamsburg, of course, Ashley walks into the kitchen, you know, talking to herself and she's pretending like, I didn't know. I didn't know that was good. I couldn't have suspected that was going to go that way. And she's being really giddy and gleeful about it. And Candace goes on to say, I don't even think she knew I was standing there. When they rolled the footage, if you go and look, right, if you go back to that episode and watch it, I don't think Ashley knew that Candace was behind her either. Because when they pan the camera, Candace is like this, listening to her talk. And that's when she starts to question her. Like, why would you do that? Why did you bring that information up? So Ashley didn't suspect that anyone was listening to her perform for the camera. And so in Candace's mind, it's like, listen, that was ridiculous. You're trying to pretend like you didn't do something, but you did. They move on over to Ashley. Ashley says, you know, I just, I didn't like how, you know, Candace was trying to scold me considering the things that she had said that were inappropriate. And I'm paraphrasing. She didn't, this is not verbatim, but, but I'll get to it. And she said, you know, she, you know, attacked me on Twitter, all the vile things she said on Twitter. And now this I will quote. She said, you know, Candace is one to talk considering the quote unquote rap sheet that Candace has. Now, all of us know what a rap sheet is. It's a criminal record, basically. So when she said that word, you know, my ears perked up and my mind went back to season five. I know <laughs> we all have PS PTSD from season five, but stay with me. My mind went back to season five when Ashley revealed to Candace that she was submitting a statement or had submitted a statement on behalf of Monique. And they got into a verbal altercation. They went back to their hotel room. Remember, when Ashley got back to her room, she called Michael. And on that phone call, Michael said, that girl is a criminal. You don't have to believe what I'm telling you. Go and watch it. He said that Candace was a criminal. Now, to my knowledge, Candace has never been arrested, tried, nor convicted of a crime. So for that old, rusty, dusty man, white man, to get on the phone and essentially national TV, because he knows his wife is filming a reality show, and call a black woman a criminal, and to criminalize her, was out of order. So then fast forward a year or more, you now have Ashley sitting in an interview saying that Candace has this rap sheet of being, you know, disgusting, vile, and inappropriate. Now, I am not one to police words, but Ashley and Candace are very intelligent women. Ashley utilizing the word rap sheet was very intentional. She could have said her track record, Candace has a history of, or she's known for, but you, Ashley chose the word rap sheet. So let me get this straight. We have Potomac fans. Sorry about the angle of the camera, y'all. This is impromptu. We have Potomac fans that are in arms because Candace said that Ashley had a wide body and a big forehead, which she does. Some things are just true. We just talked about that in my video. Some things are just true. But yet we're okay with a white man and Ashley calling a black woman and referencing her and her behavior in a criminalized way. We're okay with that. I just want to know because it seems to me that the Potomac audience, that many of you who don't like Candace and you're entitled to that, right? You're entitled to dislike who, whatever character on this show you want. It amazes me that many of you literally overlook what Ashley says and does, including her husband, he's an extension of her, she's on this show, and you go right for Candace and, and you make this claim that she says vile things. What's more vile than this white man calling a black woman a criminal when she's never been arrested, charged, or convicted of a crime? 
What's, what's more insulting than her saying, oh, she has this rap sheet. That was intentional. Ashley is not stupid. Those type of discriminatory and microaggressive words are purposeful. And so that's all I wanted to come in here and talk about. I just, I just in my spirit, I just could not believe what I was watching and hearing. And I scrolled through the comments very briefly to see if anyone even caught it. And maybe I'm thinking too much about it, but Candace has been called a criminal. And you all, when I say you all, I'm saying the audience. The audience, the fans of Potomac, they were silent. Now we have Ashley, you know, saying, you know, Candace's rap sheet, that was intentional. Once again, linking it back to criminal behavior. That's okay with y'all? That's okay? Black lives matter, but that's okay. The math ain't mathing, as the young kids would say. So I don't know. You all get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Maybe, maybe I'm drawing too much of it, but I just found that interesting. We're mad about a body comment and a forehead comment. But Michael and Ashley continuously get, get passes. They receive passes for referencing a black woman as a criminal. But all right. And, they've, and it's been tons of other things that has occurred. But anyway, y'all tell me what y'all think. I will see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>